Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. What did you think I was going to say? Welcome back to, I don't know, the the rest of that Welcome Back Cotter song that I was singing earlier? That Welcome Back Cotter song. You know, the song everybody remembers from Welcome Back Cotter. It's called Theme from Welcome Back Carter. Perhaps you've heard of it. I need to check the seed still. That just, it, that's going to take like another 15 minutes off my work day because I'm going to be like, ah, heck, where's the seed when I freaking put it up on YouTube and then I'm going to mistype it and I get 100 tweets about it and then I'll fix it, but it'll take forever. Why T-T-M-F-G-E-A? I know, my life is uh, so hard. Would have been a little less hard if they put a crawl space in there. Um, Dead Sea Scrolls. What a, what a wild start here. I figured we'd try just in case, that was like Book of Belial there. I figured we'd try just in case it was like Kamikaze or Anarchist Cookbook or something like that. I like Kane. Uh, Kane's, he's a good guy. He's done some great stuff in the community. He, he always is the first one to show up, last one to leave. Um, it's because he hates his family. He wants to be away from the house as much as is humanly possible. All right, we got a quick little uh, Skype message there. It's amazing with the frequency with which those come right at the opening of a video. That's okay. I'm the one who didn't sign out, so that's on me. Let's see if we can find a little bit of money in here. I would like to buy probably a bomb is what we're looking for, if we can get it. Oh, two cents. Spirit Heart directly might be an okay purchase as well. Wanted to save this one till later, and that didn't work out. Even like, the two cents that we got is fine, but if we can get three, which we can't, that would have been better. Like, mathematically speaking. Let's go check out this uh, Tinted Rock before we do anything uh, ridiculous. Just in case, well I mean we could get enough money to buy something in there as, in the shop uh, as a result of this poop as well. Um, but also, there we go, five cents, four cents, five cents, I told you I was uh, right the first time, I just didn't know it yet. Actually six cents out of that is pretty ridiculous. That was really good, uh, we might want to use a bomb to try to get that, and by try I mean hopefully definitely get that key. Or we may want to use this bomb to do nothing. I don't know why I became uh, very stereotypically Transylvanian there, but it is what it is. Before we go into the shop, I'll tell you what, why don't we try finding a second secret room here? And that worked. You know, usually the... Ooh. Honestly, I think it's worth it to keep this. <laughs> uh, like, most of the time, you'd probably be like, well, I'm gonna use it once and then put it back down, but Dead Sea Scrolls is such a clusterfuck that uh, I really feel like this was the right idea. And hopefully I don't end up eating shit on it. This is a bit of a tricky uh, play here because you don't want to get too close to the haunt because the haunt does one full heart of damage. But I also don't want to take a half heart of damage if dodging around the big version of the haunt can actually give me a chance to avoid that half heart of damage that I otherwise would be unable to avoid. Alright, let's take a step back, reset, let him take his shot. Only got two hits in there, but that's okay. A little close for comfort. And that should give us a pretty nice window with which to attack through. Oh, and I have botched it miserably. I'd rather not lose the Spirit Heart. We could save five cents and actually get an arcade on the next floor, not having to buy a Spirit Heart. If I could just get this other half Spirit Heart down, and combined with Torn Photo, that's actually pretty awesome. So, I'm not totally sure how I'm going to use, um... I'm going to use this yet. I'm going to use uh, Guppy's Paw, that is. I'm happy to have it, though, because Guppy's Paw provides us with flexibility. Picking it up once, of course, is, is great in and of itself because of the fact that it gives us that guppy item, but really it's the holding it that gives us a little bit of extra versatility. For example, let's do a small thought experiment. We will take Mysterious Liquid, of course. We we get, uh, let's just say something not that important to us right now, like Wooden Spoon. We get Wooden Spoon from our boss fight. Walk into the deal with the devil. The deal with the devil has, uh... Sorry, I need to rephrase this. <laughs> let's say we get an HP upgrade from our boss. So now we're up to 3 HP. Walk into the deal with the devil, there's a 1 heart deal and a 2 heart deal. So normally that would cost 3 HP, but with Guppy's Paw, we could actually use Guppy's Paw once and still pick up both items as long as we picked up the one that cost 1 heart first. So we can actually use this to leverage uh, some stuff that we wouldn't have otherwise had. And it might seem like that's kind of a fringe case scenario, a niche case scenario. I don't think that's necessarily true though, it happens all the time. Whether or not it happens this time obviously remains to be seen, but it does happen. Uh, quite frequently, so we will go a little hard on this. I think that's about as comfortable as I'm willing to go right now, and we'll not pick up that eternal heart just yet, but I will actually take this opportunity to 
shoot this in the hopes of getting enough money to maybe get something from our shop on this floor. We don't need much. We can get those red hearts as well and, and make it happen. In fact, let's try to do that on the way. Yo, what do you think? Do you think this is a library because it's so close to our spawn? Nope. <laughs> Still totally a shop. Okay. Well, we know that there is a, a red candle for sale. It would be awesome to get rid of Guppy's Paw and roll red candle on this floor. Uh, from this floor on. So we will try to get to 15 cents, but... Uh, I mean, obviously we know we're going to be able to do so by blowing up our donation machine, worst case scenario. But what I'm going to try to do is just, uh, you know, see if I can make that Guppy's Paw dream become a Guppy's Paw reality. We get HP from the boss, and then a certain permutation of, like, deals works out in our favor. Okay, that's, I think that's worth a bomb. Also killed several of the flies, which could have been annoying for me. I, I don't know if I've ever seen this room before. It's actually a really weird look for a room, but one bomb for uh, two keys and a scent is a totally adequate trade in my mind. And we could trade a bomb for this pot and the red hearts, which is effectively probably two cents plus another crack at something. At the, at the blood bank or the IV bag, that is. Or we could just place the bomb and receive nothing out of it. This is also a very strange room, or an unusual room, let's put it that way. I don't know why I chose a synonym that has almost exactly the same dictionary definition as the word I originally chose. I mean, I guess that's the definition of a synonym, but uh, sure. We, it was a waste of a bomb, but we're still in a, a totally fine position. Let's go fight the boss. Can't be any harder than the haunt. Well, that's not necessarily true. If we were fighting uh, Headless Horseman, we might be a little bit unhappy about that. Alright. Now, technically, or I should say theoretically, not technically. Theoretically, uh, Dingle should be really easy as a result of the fact that we have uh, Mysterious Liquid. So, anytime Dingle tries to charge, it's going to have to charge through a little bit of poison. The poison's going to do a little bit of damage. The dips will die in the poison probably without being touched by anything else. Might take them a couple ticks, but uh, then they'll be gone. We got a box. Not quite the Guppy's uh, paw permutation I was looking for, but that's okay. Death card versus unknown pill. Let's take unknown pill for now. It's the exact deal we wanted! Wait a minute! But we can't do it. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Habada, habada. We want them both. We will take them both if you want him. Come and claim him! And then we want to kill ourselves after doing it. I don't know if we get use for Guppy's paw out of this. Um, we'll still kill ourselves on this because we want to come back with Judas' shadow damage right away. I can't help but feel that there is probably a better way to do that, but it escaped me in the moment. We still have Guppy's paw. To be honest with you, I might rather keep Guppy's paw than go, uh, than go for Red Candle right now. Why? Even with the tears downgrade, Torn Photo, Mysterious Liquid, Ceremonial Robes, Judas' Shadow gives us so much damage that I don't really want to buy anything. Although I'm thinking now, I'm like, wait a minute, if we bought a Spirit Heart and Converter, we could Guppy's Paw into three, and then Spirit Heart's only, ah, whatever. Okay, you know, we're fine. We're just going to head down to the next floor and not rock the boat too much. It's a bit of a weird one. Um... Let's check this out. I don't think we... Well, we might as well pick it up. But I don't think I want anything in here right off the bat. There's no real point in using the Bible that much. I, I apologize. And I mean that sincerely. I apologize if uh, the the correct way to resolve that situation was not the one that I did it. It was a unique situation. It was novel for me. Kind of an interesting puzzle. Maybe I should have given it a little bit more thought. But uh, it's all good. I'm going to continue to not use the uh, Guppy's Paw. I'm still very hopeful that at one point we will find an opportunity to uh, use it in our devil room in a way that makes me feel intelligent. And in a way, I mean, that's by not taking Red Candle, we've committed to a little bit, I wouldn't say zaniness, that's probably giving it a little bit too much credit, but a little bit of unorthodoxy, if you will. Mm, yeah, you know, Kane's Eye is, uh, it is what it is. Just a very roundabout way of saying I've forgotten what it does temporarily. I think it gives you a 25 or 50% chance to see uh, the entire layout of the map. That's pretty okay. I do think that AAA battery charge is, or AAA battery is better the majority of the time. You have to, of course, get a spacebar item that actually works with it, but hopefully we will. 
Eventually, but not yet. Because I am enjoying our, uh, our opportunity to use this as it is right now. It's a very common secret room template right there. By this, I mean Guppy's Paw. Of course, okay, we got a lot of batteries. If we can get an active item, even if it's not good, we could at least use it uh, for the remainder of this floor and then use it many times. Like a book of, uh, book of Revelations in particular speaks to me on that one. This is going really well. Like, our damage is insane as a result of the Judas' of Shadow ceremonial robes torn photo thing that we've got going on. Uh, and really, it only stands to get better if we could actually uh, get a deal with the devil here, which is admittedly, I wouldn't say it's against all odds, but it's against the odds. What is it, at, at what point does it have to be to be against all odds? What do you think, like 10%? 10% is against all odds? Against all odds, he chose the number I was thinking of. We did get a deal with the devil here. We'll take speedball, that's fine. We'll fight Krampus, and uh, got to admit, a lump of coal pickup would be pretty nice. If we get in a dire situation for HP, we can always pop Guppy's paw. It does have that working for it. Uh, honestly, I don't think Krampus's head is worth getting rid of Guppy's paw for. Mostly, again, because my damage is already so good that I, I'm looking for more utility out of a, a spacebar item. And I'm kind of attached to the idea, admittedly, perhaps naively, of making uh, of making this Guppy's Paw thing work out a little better for us. And I have faith that it will. Effectively, it'll add up to like... Oh, that hurts real bad. Effectively, it'll help us out by giving us like three extra spirit hearts than we would have otherwise had. Whoa, what an amazing coup, but seriously. I'm still gonna try, because, uh, because that's gonna be interesting. Hopefully we get like... Uh, Starter deck would be awesome. Starter deck would be awesome. There's options would also be great. Mom's purse is also totally fine. And uh, I hate to do it, but I would really like this spirit art just to protect. Okay, that'll do. <laughs> Fair enough. What are we missing here now? Um, we haven't found the secret rooms. We have been to the shop, we've been to the library. The only other rooms that can remain here are just uh, combat rooms and, and maybe like a, you know, an Isaac's room or a double key room of some sort, but now we're actually at the end here, which is fine actually. I think we've done fine on this floor. Um, speed upgrade, shot speed, it's one of those things, you know, nobody wants to get socks for Christmas. Well, that's actually like a gross overgeneralization. I like getting socks for Christmas so I don't have to buy them myself. You have not given me socks, you have given me like an hour that I don't have to go to the clothing store, or, you know, Sears or wherever I'm gonna go to buy socks. So, no, I, uh, yeah, I buy my socks at Sears. Fuck you, youngsters. I don't care if you wear the hip, trendy socks. You know, I'm a married man. I wear fucking casual white or black socks. You got a fucking problem? Yo, why don't you come pay my taxes for me, you know, wherever, whatever the fucking socks you want. This minion socks, SpongeBob SquarePants, Whippersnappers have no respect for e economical yet also practical sock game. I don't like this key beggar. Don't really love that either. I mean, it should be fairly easy for us to surmount that room. However, uh, I'm not that interested in doing it until... You know, we see what else we got going on the floor. It's not worth losing half a spirit heart on. Or at least risking losing half a spirit heart on. As of right now, we can probably feel pretty confident that we wouldn't actually lose it. Got lucky there. And I know that we forgot to take uh, Kane's Eye on the last floor. At least I should, to be more accurate. I just remembered that I, f I forgot to take Kane's Eye. But it worked out okay because Bloody Penny is a, uh, a lovely trinket. I think most people would agree is better as long as you're not rolling exclusively on spirit hearts. It really can be a, a game-winning trinket. Under certain situations, if you have a lot of HP, it allows you to uh, to fill your red hearts back up. If you don't have a lot of HP, it allows you to stay relatively confident. If you come across a lot of arcades, which is another thing that I'm hoping for, it gives you the opportunity to pick up uh, blood bags and IV bags. Punching bag, it's fine. Uh, it's it's the best thing I'll say about it. It's it can be pretty okay. I don't think it's bad. I don't think it's quite on the level that I was hoping for, but I don't think it's bad either. I had a feeling, like, I didn't want to touch that bomb because I was like, if I can ever get six, uh, six mushrooms with one bomb, it's gonna be now. Because that's gonna be, like, the mathematical center of the room as defined by, you know, the game engine. Okay, let's do this. I don't expect a, uh, I don't expect to deal with the devil here. I will say I'm gonna pop the Empress, though, uh, just because Gertie is a very tanky boss. 
we're lucky in that uh, with Mysterious Liquid, I think we're going to do a little bit of uh, creep damage, depending on which side of the hitbox uh, the shots land on. Might be possible. I don't know if it's actually dependent on what side of the hitbox the shots land on. It just sounded cool, okay? Let me have my moment. Absolutely. So we're going to... This is a Guppy's Paw instance. Absolutely. And, uh, we couldn't have used two, because then we wouldn't have been able to pick it up. So now we have nine lives. Uh, well, let's just put it this way. We've got two Guppy items. We have the same amount of HP, except we have more uh, Spirit Hearts on top of it. There's three Spirit Hearts from Guppy's Paw right there. It is already as useful as the Rosary. And we're still holding it. So it could be more useful in the future. Still have a shop to look at on this floor. And hopefully an arcade as well. I'd be skeptical. This really feels like a secret room to me. It is. I don't know what it is. You just play enough Rebirth. I'm sure this is not just me. I'm not trying to paint myself as some kind of, like, preternatural fucking superhero. But, um, you play enough Rebirth, you just start to notice, like, the patterns of where the, the rooms tend to be. Um, I don't think it's worth picking up any of this, to be honest with you. I don't even think it's worth buying the key. Man, all the pills have been bad. It's hard to complain because we've had such good luck, especially when it comes to, like, deals with the devil. We've had every deal with the devil that we've had the opportunity to get. Uh, or that, that is, like, mathematically possible to show up. Do I really want to walk on the spikes to get those cards? I think the answer to that question is probably no. I mean, I do want to, but should I know is uh, probably the answer. Great run so far, though. Uh, I'm, I'm having a good time. Any run where you pick up so much damage or DPS, at least right off the get-go, is awesome. Wheel of Fortune is uh, colloquially pretty much my, if I'm going to use a bomb, play this card for a little bit of extra bonus love. Actually, that works out really well for us. I used to dislike Wheel of Fortune, except for, you know, when you get it right before the chest or even on the chest or something like that. Um, now I like it because I'm basically like, ah, you know, if I have a bomb, Wheel of Fortune is going to give me something else at some point. Sucks that there's no arcade, though. So, uh, let's go back to, ah, uh, you know, we're not doing boss rush anyway. Let's fight these guys. Pick up an extra key, which is actually great. That not only gave me money and a key, but saves me from having to maybe buy a key on the next floor. So, you know, that's a double whammy and like a good... We need like a double whammy. It's an expression that is double whammy, but good. Maybe like a two for the price of one. Till uh, there you go. Kill two birds with one stone. I was like, it's got to exist. I can't have just invented this problem. There's got to be a better way. We... Stand back. Let Peep do the talking. I'll do the walking. Money talks. Money also walks. Actually, money does neither of those things. Really, it's mostly the people holding it. Um, where were those cards? Oh, they must be in this room up here. Curse of the Maze has me all, all confused. So we would put Wheel of Fortune here. Try to blow this up to find a secret room if it is adjacent, but it's probably not. We got two cents and two of hearts, which is actually pretty terrible. My, what the, my best friend! I, I swear to God, you're gonna think that I'm bullshitting you. My best friend, when I placed it, his model, like, collided with it and pushed it slightly out of the way. So that's pretty much 100% my bad, but, uh, still. Bullshit. Okay, down to the next floor. Uh, way behind schedule for boss rush, which is nice because I don't have to worry about it. Two keys is exactly, and that may not exactly where we want to be, but it's up there. I wanted to give the sound effects, the ambiance, a chance to establish itself there. Never do that again. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's stay as far away from the explosions as I can. I don't know why, but I'm feeling a good item room on this floor. Bombs flying high. You know how I feel. I'm feeling like Polyphemus, basically. Um, oh, good. Is it, the last room was great training for this. I What I love about these guys is the way they change direction after you hit them. So you never know where they're coming, man. You guys know that song, That's What I Like About You? I was thinking about that the other day, and by the other day, I mean, like, literally two and a half minutes ago. That song... All these pop songs, people need to get higher standards. What I like about you... You really know how to dance. Well, I mean, that's, like, not an unadmirable trait. But at the same time, like... 
You know, oh, what do you see in your wife? Well, she, she really knows how to dance. All that whispering in my ear, telling me things that I wanna hear, cause it's true. That's what I like about you. What do you like about, uh, what do you like about your spouse? Um, well, they know how to dance and they tell me exactly what I wanna hear. That's like a freaking, that's not a good reason, man. That's not kindred spirits, that's a, that's a freaking used car salesman. Oh, well, I, I was not fully correct about this being a good item, but it's not a bad item, it's just, uh, not necessarily the, the enormous, uh, win that I expected. I, I can't remember, like, the other lyrics in the song, but I feel like they're equally, um, ridiculous. Isn't there one that's like, that's what I like about you. You keep me warm at night. It's like, that's literally just what... They cannot not keep you warm at night if they're sleeping in the same bed. Oh, uh, we don't want Pandora's box that much. Champion Belt was good, though. They, they emit body heat. <laughs> that's what I like about you. You live and breathe. Never had anyone who I had to believe. Yeah, okay, well, that joke kind of fell flat at the last moment. But, like, it's, I always have this shit about pop songs, man. Have higher standards. I mean, I get that. Uh, Northern Lights, just a fun song. Doesn't matter if the lyrics don't make any sense. It's just a fun song. You know what's a fun song? Will 2K, all right? Unless it's Will 2K, you got some questions to answer. As far as I'm concerned, if I got to dedicate my listening to your... to what is your listenables. At least, you know, just... If you want to write My Sharona, just write My Sharona. That's... That's a little different, you know? Ooh, my little pretty one. Pretty one. When you are gonna give me some time, Sharona? Like, that's... That's a fun song right there. You tell me... Don't tell me I don't like fun. I've listened to all the Jay, Jay Giles Band songs. Those those songs tell a story, man. Freeze frame. It's about, uh... It's about there being a freeze frame. It's pretty good. It's just one of those songs that, uh... You know, it doesn't mean anything, like, it just, I guess it just sounds nice, like, it's a cadence that is uh, applicable. Or, uh, like, uh, palatable to the ears, I guess. It's like the, the theme song from Friends, man, where it's like... So no one told you life was gonna be this way. Your job's a joke, you're broke. Your love life's DOA. Okay, you know what, that's... You've, you've created a situation in which I know what's happening here. It's like you're always stuck in second gear. When it hasn't been your day or week or month, or even your year, and then it's it just squanders it. I'll be there for you. When the rain starts to pour, yo, if you're so emotionally fragile, you need someone to be there for you when it rains. Go, go talk to somebody. This person does not need a friend. They need a therapist, and I mean that sincerely, you know? I'll be there for you like I've been there before. I prefer to think of that line. Eh, it was probably not worth it. I prefer to think of that line as like sarcastically. Like, oh yeah, I'll be there for you like I've been there before. Like I've been there before. Could I have been there anymore before? Anyway. At least it's not as bad now that, now that I've run through the lyrics myself. Uh, it's not as bad as that's what I like about you. I'll give you that. And the one that gets me the most is, uh... She Shook Me All Night Long by ACDC. It's like the ultimate in low standards. She was a fast machine, she kept her motor clean. Literally that line is like, She likes to have sexual intercourse and she doesn't have an STD. That's... You know, narrow your standards a little bit, Bon Scott. That's a little ridiculous, I think. It's like, that's almost as bad as you keep me warm at night. Alright, not that I'm trying to push my standards of you know, love and happiness on anybody. I'm just saying, I think you should, you should aspire to, to more than what you're actually getting out of these, uh, out of these relationships, you know? Like, you, you could do better, Bon Scott. You could do better. So I'm thinking here, since we're not in any rush, we, um, get our HP back, and then try to IV bag as much as we can, and with our luck stat, I would be expecting to have a pretty good chance of, um, of getting a decent amount of money, like, we don't need to get a ton, but it would be nice to get, uh, you know, maybe 40 or 50 cents, and if we get to 40 or, nice, if we get to 40 or 50 cents, um, you know, we got a lot for our donation machine, we can buy something for ourselves as well. And this is what I mean, man, because we didn't use Guppy's Paw, we kept it for the versatility aspect of it. Um, 
now we have so many different opportunities here. Oh my lord. We got so many different opportunities here that we wouldn't have otherwise had. We can, we're basically milking our red heart for money right now. And then after we milk our red heart for money, we could trade that red heart to a deal with the devil. We could buy something with the money. Not very proud of myself for how that almost went down. But on the bright side, we did just get to 47 cents. I don't really want to stick with IV bag on this run. I think we're, you know, happier to go with something else. What do I want in our uh, shop this time? Not greed would be nice, mostly so I have the donation machine. Hive mind, I really have high hopes of us becoming guppy, so I think hive mind is something I would like to see. Good stuff. This run is looking like a very solid win. We're just lacking that kind of one item that puts us over the top, whether it's uh, you know a guppy transformation or a, I don't know, like a, a pact or a, an abaddon or something like that. We don't necessarily need any of those, but it would be nice. Uh, it, would, it would certainly take a little bit of the edge out. And there's our guppy item. So that should do it right there. Now, obviously, hive mind is uh, even better for us, but also simultaneously better, but also completely unnecessary. So uh, I really can't complain. I think we did a good job on this run. and I mean, we, we were able to have a good job be done because of the fact that the game's RNG was good, but I think we played relatively well as well. Um, there have been some times where I've been a little bit lower on HP, and this also helps as well. See, my item sensors were fine, they were just a slightly miscalibrated. The, the equipment itself wasn't broken, we just had, you know, an intern doing the tuning or something like that. Um, hope that I could get that to open a skull, but no. You know what, I will buy a blank card, and then we'll donate the rest of our money. I buy a blank card in the hopes of finding a sweet rune or a, you know, card to go along with it. I think Gubby's Paw has served its purpose nobly. We'll keep one red heart so we can trade it to a deal with the devil, and apart from that, we'll move on. It's a really good donation machine as well. It's, uh, gonna give us a pretty good chance of getting basically as high as it'll take. 680, yeah, that's perfect. Uh, I was actually gonna buy a key, but now I realize that obviously I cannot buy a key. And you know what? That's completely okay. We're m less likely to need the key, I would suggest. I don't really want to donate more. I'd actually really like to buy this key. I know I just, you know, counter contradicted myself there, but uh, uh, now we don't need the key. Okay, maybe we'll donate. I'm a little indecisive today. I'm actually just a little lazy. That might do it, and it did indeed. You know what? This feels to me like it could be a negative run. Why is that? Oh, go. Oh, jeez. I've got, um... I've got a lot of damage, a lot of, like, future potential, and I don't have a lot of keys. So it really seems like this would be a good run to, to run Dark Room, maybe. And we already, the other thing is we already have cool synergies. Like, we, well, I mean, it's not really cool synergies. It's not novel, I guess, but, um... We already have a run that I, I like, which is basically Death's Touch plus Guppy. I don't really want that. So, just remind me... That was not very smart. Um, just remind me that we will be going to the, the Shoal instead of the Cathedral. Secret Room paid for itself with the Mark and also gave us some extra HP. Or, sorry, some extra um, awesomeness in the process. I think we'll get rid of... Uh, Bloody Penny. Bloody Penny did great for us. Basically put another 30 cents in our donation machine and allowed us to buy almost whatever we wanted. Um, but we want... We'll, we'll do better with the keys. Even though I just said that they cited that as a reason that we might... Uh, um, we might want to go to the dark room. Mostly, like, we only have one HP, so Bloody Penny can't be useful for us. There's no way until we get to two HP that we can get down to half a red heart, as far as I know. At least one of our pills ended up being half decent. Uh, I don't really care if we get to the regular secret room. I would like to get to the second secret room, though. We'll try to play that judgment as well. Thought I had the left hand for a second there. That was really good. Okay, maybe uh, eternal hearts. No. Well, tell you what. Let's give this guy a try. I don't have high hopes, but if it doesn't work, I will be crestfallen. Half a red heart. Can't do much with that. Pretty fly. I mean, this room was still worth it. I'm going to blow you up because I got keys and nothing else. So, Or, sorry, uh, bombs and nothing else. But ba 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 baby I got keys and nothing else. <laughs> seriously, seriously, could you give me a house? Because I've got keys but nothing else. Uh, nothing else doesn't really work. Perhaps a locker or a car or... Anyway. 
Yeah, we'll take it. Could have played that Demon Judgment in hindsight. Whatever. Ooh. Well, that definitely... Okay. Um... If you use it on Shoal, what the heck do you get from the Pandora? I think we just use Pandora's box here because we're on the womb. And we just be happy with what we get. Save blank card for fun. Um, so, this worked out really well. And we'll... Uh, just remember we're going down. We're going to Shoal. Curse of the Unknown uh, is extremely meaningless for us at this point. So is that, though. Uh, so that... Ended up working out pretty well on the last floor. We got, uh... Got two items. Let's let's unpack it slowly. Because apparently I'm getting confused. We got, uh, Guppy's Paw. Sorry, Guppy's Tail. That's great, especially with our chosen trinket. One of our chosen trinkets, anyway. Um, this was pretty fly. Sweets. This one is Bad Trip. Not so sweet. At least not yet. Um... We got Placenta. Which is great, because 2 HP actually beats 1 HP, since you've already put yourself out of that, like, bi or, I guess it's binary or boolean, uh, you know, are you gonna get permanent Polaroid invincibility? Is Polaroid invincibility is returning false, is all I'm trying to say. And then, um, we got Pandora's Box. Pandora's Box gave us evil plus range, and what was the other thing we got out of it? We got... Safety pin? Was it like a shot speed? I can't remember. That's weird. Um, I guess it couldn't have been that important. I'm going to take Flat Penny for a larger hitbox. It makes our stuff look weird. Also, it makes it look like we have two of the same trinket, which uh, I'm a big fan of, personally. It makes it look like we're throwing them at an angle, is what it does. Absolutely, we'll take that. Now, I can't stress this enough to my future self. Please don't let everybody down. Make sure that you go to Shoal and not the Cathedral. You're going to Shoal, not the Cathedral. Istanbul, not Constantinople. I'm ready. We're doing a lot of damage. That's our third pretty fly, which is ridiculous. What I wouldn't give to turn our next pretty fly into a pretty, pretty, pretty good tarot card. How's my Larry David? I have a theory about Curb Your Enthusiasm, and it's that everybody who watches Curb Your Enthusiasm you know, let me, let's, let me backtrack to give this a little bit more weight. When you watch Seinfeld, I do think that most people probably think that they are Jerry, maybe Elaine. But th there's a little bit more... Or, Friends is a great example. We were even talking about the song. Everybody who watches Friends paints themselves as not the same character. There'll be people who are like, oh, you're a Ross. Personally, I'm a little bit of a Ross. Maybe a little Chandler thrown in. Definitely like Zero Joey in good or bad ways. Um... I think the theory with Kirby Enthusiasm is that Larry David, in himself, has written the most universal character. Nobody watches that show and is like, oh, I'm totally Jeff. Everybody's like, oh, yeah. The, what it, basically what it is is that there's always, Larry David is always right. It's just sometimes, oh, that's better without a card. If we get a card, we might come back. There's always somebody being an asshole, and Larry David sometimes is just more of an asshole in the way that he reacts to them, which is the way that we, uh, I think we picture ourselves a lot of the time. Blank card stars is not worth it. I think we always picture ourselves being like, D don't you, like, when someone does, like, a perceived injustice, you're like, ah, oh, I wish I could do, like, one order of magnitude dickier to them than they did to me. That's my theory on it. Satan is not gonna be able to put up too much of a fight here, and I mean... Like, the, the Tammy's head pickup here is extraordinary. It's gonna do so much damage, and with Flat Penny, it's like even better on top of that. Like, it, there is no gap within the scythes here. I really hope Curb comes back for another Enthusiasm if they want to do one. I'm sure they would if they wanted to, so. It's not like, oh, Larry, Larry, we need you, but only if you want to. Let's get out of here. Um, I figured that maybe, uh, uh, surprisingly little damage there. I figured that, uh, you know, Guppy's head, fairly solid for us. You don't always get a Guppy item, oh my god, on the chests, or the dark room. So to get a Guppy item on the dark room is like an enormous privilege, to be honest with you. Oh, come on, that should have worked. We're all in agreement that that should have worked, right? That's a spirit heart right here. And another item. That, this dark room is ridiculous, man! It's the greatest dark room in human history. That was not a good bomb, though. I have squandered this dark room. 
Um, you know what? With 17 bombs, why don't we look for uh, Magic Mush or something? Liberty Cap, not necessary now. That's Bad Trip, I think. Health up? Sure. I mean, Bad Trip is actually useful for us. I might as well take it. My, my theory about this Tammy's head is that it actually is killing everything in one hit if you count the flies. If you don't count the flies, it's not, but it's still really good. Magic Fingers is not really with 10 cents, all things considered. Really, anything's considered. Mom's wig is really sweet, though. This is excellent, man. We are getting, like, a, a crazy haul of items on the, on the floors where you would not expect to get a crazy haul of items most of the time. You know, once you pass, like... Depths too. That's your that's your dream, you know. Hopefully you have enough. Another black card here. I mean, obviously we're gonna win this run. This is a really good one. Good confidence builder because we're gonna be coming back and playing as Judas next. Not that Judas is tough. He's just tougher to start with, you know. Again, amazing. All right, let's do this. Figure we might as well try to get through the first phase as quickly as possible, and it really, that strategic aspect didn't factor into this at all. <laughs> Strong enough that we could have won this run as the Lost if we st somehow got the combination of items we got earlier. But that's another beast for another day. For now, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.